right, guys, I'm back. So this is elk and caribou. So you can kind of see why like, it would be like impossible to have an indoor building for this. And then like the little zoo train will go through. There's like the train tracks. And they got some ducks and geese that are like eating. Oh, it looks like there's swans too, a couple swans. racing on the freeway so can you guys see the uh, caribou and elk over here now we're coming up to the bears so thanks for like letting me have like a little break I had to take a phone call very important phone call from a most important person in my life my husband so I had to take a quick break they're doing some construction looks like they're making a new concession stand area we're coming up to the bears. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if the bears are outside, but we will see. Let me come over um, here. I wish like it was like spring and all the things are blooming because it's so pretty. Oh yeah, there's one sleeping in the thing. Salam alaikum Asad. How are you? So in this like net thingy over here, there's a bear sleeping. So you can see that we can't get too, too close to the animals. This is a grizzly bear. So you can see grizzly bear. And then over there, can you see in the net? He's like chilling out, out of the sun. He's taking a little nap, a siesta. That's how you say it in Spanish. So, tired little bear. And we've got some more animals over here. In the summertime, it is so beautiful because like there's ponds. See the big like little lake? And let's see, these are elk over here. Can I see the elks? Let me get out so I'm not like putting people on camera that don't necessarily want to be on camera. So there looks like a girl elk over there. There's a boy elk. And there's another girl one. Just kind of eating some stuff. Little elks. But this is like their little habitat area that they have. Nice big area. So you can see like there's no like wrappers or anything in there. Or even on the roads here. Like they do a really good job at making sure everything is kept nice and tidy and neat. So that way we don't disturb the habitat for the animals. That's very, very important. There's the beautiful lake. I think in the summer there's a fountain, maybe. I don't remember. I, it's been a little while since I came. In the winter time, like nothing's like like open, like, and I would never come over to this area. I'm gonna turn the camera. Well, I'm walking in an area where there's not animals because I don't want to put people necessarily on camera that don't want to be on camera. So, um, looks like there's some students from different schools here too. And I want to protect their anonymity. Ah, oh, here is a peacock. Let me turn the camera. You guys can see the peacock over here. Little peacock right there. As these peacocks, like they are not cut, they can fly out anytime that they want. And so sometimes we'll find them like just walking around on the like sidewalk out here. So that's pretty cool. So, um, Here's another bear exhibit. Oh, one's taking a little bath. He's going swimming. Can you see him in the water? He's chilling out. He's probably saying, finally, a nice enough day that I can go swimming. So, hi, Rehan. Welcome to the Milwaukee County Zoo. I'm gonna go over, I think, over by the polar bears. Let me turn the camera because keep people that 
aren't with me yet. We're like kind of in a really pub, uh, public area and I don't want to necessarily put people that don't want to be on camera on camera. So I'm going to have it on my face now while we go through this like area. And uh, we're almost over, I think, to the polar bear and um, I think seals. So they try to like have like, like the prey and then the predator like near each other. So um, that way you can appreciate all of that. Uh, hi, Nasir. Mahmoud, or is this Rabia on her dad's account? I never know. So, um, it's a beautiful day, like really, it's so pretty. Like look at the beautiful blue sky, there's not a single cloud. It's like, I forgot to put sunscreen on, which is like not good. I should cover my face, not really. If it was like too hot, I would. Thanks, Amin, that's nice of you to say, I love our zoo. So, oh, we're over to the seal, and then in the background you can see the, the uh, polar bear. So here's the seal. Then over that distance you can see the polar bear. Um, we'll go over to the polar bear exhibit, and they're swimming. And um, why don't we try to go over to where we can see um, them in the water. So, and there's the polar bear in the distance. Look at the polar bear! So I'm gonna go so we can try to look in the observation viewing window so we can see them swimming underwater because that's pretty neat too. So just bear with me while we walk downstairs and hopefully they'll swim over because I like to see them that way. Yeah, I think it's pretty awesome too, Maksud. I'm walking down the stairs to the underwater viewing area. And hopefully they'll swim over this way. Can you see them? How exciting, right? Have they swam over here yet? Yeah. All right, so hopefully they'll come over here and we'll see them underwater. So that way you can see, enjoy them above the water and below the water. Let's see, I don't see them right now. And they're doing some like construction it looks like they're fixing the cement the concrete do you see one coming yeah, oh there's one in the distance hopefully it'll swim over this direction there he is. do you see he's swimming this way oh, turn around There's one swimming pretty quickly. There's one. There's one. Okay. So, all right, now I'm walking over to the polar bear exhibit. So that way you guys can see that. Like I, I lost connection for a minute. I think when I get like too close to like the like the tanks and stuff, like there's not good enough exposure for the internet. So then I kind of lose it. So let's go over and see. I'm trying to like protect people. Oh my goodness, how cool is this? We're right over by the polar bear. Wow. Right. Yep. Right. So I don't know if you guys know this like little fact, but like I'm talking on the fly, I'm sorry. Um, the polar bear's like fur like is like little tiny hollow straws. So like that way they can like the water will go in and then their body heat will keep it warm and that's uh, kind of like how they keep the heat in the winter time. Uh, here's some polar bear facts. Uh, under all that fur they have black skin. Um, they almost no heat escapes their body. Um, they can swim dozens of miles in icy water. Um, these giants make little noise when stalking prey. They only crack their teeth and make short popping sounds uh, right before attacking. They're stealthy hunters. They wait patiently and at seals' breathing holes. When the seal pops up its head, it's dinner time. And polar bears have no fear of humans. So one time I was here and the polar bear was under the water because they also have the underwater area here, but the polar bear's not in the water right now. And it was like dribbling a ball underwater. It was pretty cool. You think I'm running? No, I'm just like out of shape. So 
it sounds like I'm running, but I'm actually just walking and I'm like not very fit. So I need more exercise so I don't like sound like I'm losing it. They're right now building a brand new um, elephant exhibit. So, and I think that'll open maybe in the summer or fall. So, does anybody have any questions? Then I can I try to answer them like while I'm walking. Oh, I see the rhino. And we're almost to like the giraffes and stuff. Yeah, you're laughing at me because I'm out of shape. Thanks. Oh, the baby giraffe. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's go over and see the giraffes first because I like the giraffes. And like, not that you guys will be excited, but like Americans like get crazy excited to see camels because we don't have like camels walking on our streets. <laughs> so, and then also like we can have like opportunity to like feed giraffes and stuff at our zoo but it's not open right now for the giraffe experience so we're almost over to the giraffes this zoo is located uh it's called the milwaukee uh, county zoo and it is located in milwaukee wisconsin which is about two hours northwest of chicago so i'm almost over to the Giraffes. Are you? So. Well, you're gonna be the one that has to deal with it. I know. There's a lot of people in this area. Yeah, right now you're seeing this animal right here. <laughs> there she is. She's coming. We're really close to a big giraffe, and it's right in front of me. So. Look at mommy and say cheese. Look at. Look, the giraffe. look at me. I picture you in the giraffe. He's eating. Look, 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 look. Eating some food. Let's go see the other giraffes. And, and we can see them when they're on the inside, like we go through the other way. And then we can see them when they're like indoors as well. Look at the baby giraffe. Isn't he cute? Oh, I love the baby giraffe. He's just adorable. Sometimes he's running. And it's so cute. This is the reticulated giraffe. I love the giraffes, you guys. Sorry, I'm like staying more time on this than another one. But all right. Um, I think a lot of the animals are outside. Um, let's go to the cat building because we're close to that. And then, do you, do you guys want to see like camels or rhinos or anything like that? Tell me what you guys want to see. There's the elephant right there. I can go over there in a little bit, but like I'm close to the cat building, so we'll go to the cat building. When the elephants are inside, they're in this cage in this area. So, and then on the other side is the rhinoceroses. So I have to walk around the outside if you want to see those animals because I don't think that they're indoors right now because it's such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. So, I'm having like issues with my scarf. Like with the wind and stuff. So, um, any questions that I can answer while we are walking? Yeah. Two big elephants, huh? Yeah, and there's like two different kinds of uh, elephants. There's the African, and then there's the. Um, what's the other one? Is it like African and Asian elephant? Asian. One has big ears, one has little ears. So let's see if we can see the tiger. He's right outside. Yeah, I know. We're walking over to the tiger real quick. Here's the red panda. I don't know 
if we can see him. Do you see him? Oh, he's in here. He's laying his little thing. There's a little red panda. There's two of them. Let's go over to the tigers because they're actually like right in front of the window. So like this is like a rarity to get to see them this close. seeing him. Oh, yeah. Aww. He's just a big kitty. Alright, let's go um, see if we can see the snow snow uh, leopard. You get to see me for a minute. Um, I love the zoo. Yeah, that was a tiger. Isn't that so cool? You know, like, especially that he's like just laying right there in front of us. So, now I'm gonna go over to where the snow leopard hopefully is. We'll see if he's in there. You wanna see cheetah? I don't, I don't know if they have a cheetah. I know they have um, jaguar, because that used to be my son's favorite. He's like, jaguar, and they, well, like when he was little, they were baby jaguars. <laughs> and he loved them. He loved to go see the baby jaguars. So we've gotten zoo passes for many, 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 many years. And then we took a break for a couple of years. We can't see it, honey. We just see a tail. Why don't we go this way? All right, so this is where the snow leopard's supposed to be. You can see his tail sticking up. Where is he? Just a tail. Oh, you can see his tail only. Because he's trying to hide it. Yeah, it's just the tail. That's okay. Can you see him? He's hiding in the like green box, and then his tail is sticking out of the oh, green I box. Right I wish we could see him, but sometimes they don't be cooperative. So now let's go into the big cat country building. This is my son Jacob. So. Oh, here's another tiger behind, behind the rock. So you can see him inside. Hi, He's sleeping. Oh, wow. She's sleeping. She's sleeping. They're sisters. So, like, I. Okay. Sorry, I lost connection for a little bit. Whenever I keep going in the buildings, it's like messing things up. There's a girl lion over there. I want to try to get you guys to see the indoor lion because that's the male one with a big mane and also the jaguar. So hopefully I don't lose connection again. So pray that when I go inside I'll have internet connection and then you guys can see the animals inside. So hopefully. But like I lost connection the last time so we'll see how it works this time. Also, like, they have an area over here where, like, they are preparing the food for the animals. So we can kind of see the food that the animals eat. Which is kind of gross, but figured you guys would want to see. <laughs> There's, like, rats and mice and steak and meat, ground beef. Gross. And then they have, like, how much each of the animals gets. And they measure it out for them to keep it good on their diet. I don't know which animal is in this one, but we'll take a look. I have connection right now. Um, animal's probably inside, so 
The cheetah's out here? Can you see the cheetah? No, no. The cheetah's, this is a cheetah exhibit. Well, how tasty. Not, nah, that's so gross. So here, here, here's me and my son. Oh, right, I gotta turn the camera, hold on. Let's see. Me and my son, hi! Hi, everybody. Alright, we're gonna go inside, we're gonna try to see the lion because the lion is pretty majestic, and then also the jaguar because that's pretty awesome too. But hopefully I don't lose right prey. I'm gonna walk fast and hopefully we can get to them. There he is. Look at the lion. Let's come over here. Can you see him? Look at him. Amazing, right? Girls, girls, girls. He's hiding. And there's another one over there. Hopefully he'll turn his chest. Mm -hmm. no, okay guys, so I'm fixing my scarf, but we found a jaguar outside. So, um, because for some reason when I go in the building, it's just not working. So, I apologize for such a bad connection inside. Can you guys see the jaguar? beautiful like and I knew I saw him first when he was a baby so uh, we'll I think if we walk around this way we can see the camels and stuff and then we'll see the uh, elephants the elephants it's a lot of walking you guys send me messages so that way I can like answer questions while I'm walking uh, this is actually good exercise for me I need to be like walking and doing this kind of thing <laughs> So I can lose weight, get healthy and fit, be smart. <laughs> yeah, I love the Jaguar too. It's probably one of my favorite big cats. I think it's just so beautiful with like the spots and stuff. Oh, so pretty. You hear the peacock? In the summertime, there's like these like, like things that we can ride on um, to kind of get an overhead view. Like, yeah, out of the thing. Here's, uh, I think, llamas. Hey, little llamas. Looks like they were recently sheared. So. And then. Okay, walking. South American tortoise. I don't see the tortoise. There's some peacocks in there. Alpaca. Look at that beautiful peacock right there. Oh my gosh. Can you see them? And there's one over here. So pretty. And then the alpaca. I think we're going to go over by to the... Um, I think there's camels over here. In the background you can see the jaguar far, far, far back there. the camel has two humps. There's a song like that. So, so I said Alice the camel. Not that you guys would understand that. I don't think this is all that exciting for like people in Pakistan because you guys have access all the time to seeing camels. But in America, camels are kind of like neat because we don't get to see camels on a regular basis when we're driving down the road. <laughs> but I don't know if you guys get to see the camels that have the two bumps. I think mostly you guys just have the one, one hump camel. There's the two hump camel. Can you see them? And then there's some geese eating grass. And a crying baby. So let's go up here. I think we're going to come up to the rhinoceros. Let's see if he's outside. Okay, we're not close to the camel. We're not even... Keep going! The camels are the camels. We saw him out earlier. Oh, there's a peacock right here. Hi, little peacock. 
And you'll see them, like the peacocks all over, like in the summertime. Oh, there's a rhino off in the distance. Can you see him? He's laying down. He's like right there. I don't know if you can see him. So if I come to a different area, you can get a better perspective. This is a black rhinoceros, even though it looks kind of grayish. We'll keep walking. I don't know what this exhibit is. But let's go see the elephant. We used to have kangaroos too, and that was pretty neat. So let me turn the camera on me while we walk over to the elephant. So tell me how everybody's doing today. Actually, it's nighttime there. It's probably getting a little bit late. I'm like, I would say 80% done with the zoo. There's also like a petting zoo. Then like they have like cows and they show like how like milking is done. I don't know if you guys are interested in seeing that. Um, there's a family farm, a picnic area. We're going past the giraffes again. Hi, Ibrahim. Um, if you didn't see the, the giraffes, I can show them again because I'm back at the giraffe area. I just did like a giant circle. We'll see the giraffes again, okay? Let's see. My son's bumping into me. I'm actually bumping into him because I'm not watching where I'm going. There's the giraffes. Aren't they pretty? Look at them! Look at the baby giraffe he's eating right in front of us. He's so cute. It is a very big zoo. Very, very, very big zoo. And the giraffe is coming to say hi. Can you say hi to Hi to everybody around the world. Now the baby's coming. Here comes the baby. take me to the zoo in Japan too because like, that's where he normally lives so that'll be exciting I think he's in Tokyo or maybe another city I'm not sure but I told him I want to go to the Tokyo Zoo too so when I go to Tokyo or when I go to Japan I'll make sure to take everybody to the Japanese Zoo as well inshallah I know I didn't go live very long at the Lahore Zoo but that was because like when I talk like everybody there like starts looking at me and not the animals. So I don't want to be on, on exhibit. <laughs> so um, that's why I didn't really go live much. Um, and I, I don't know, did I post an album of my, I have all the pictures, so I, maybe I haven't posted them. I think I did though. So now we're at the elephant. <laughs> so let's turn the camera so y'all can see the elephants. These are the African elephants, they have the big ears, not the Asian elephants. So, catch the baby nap. Yeah, isn't the baby one so cute? The baby giraffe. Oh, I just love it. So, this is the big, big African elephant. And sadly, people poach these animals just for the tusk. They don't want anything other than the tusk of these animals. And that is so devastating because look at how beautiful these majestic animals are and to destroy them for a piece of ivory, that's disgusting. So, trying to think what other animals um, that we can go. We can go to the like, like a family farm and see how that goes. We'll go over the family farm now. 
hold on. So, say bye to the elephant. Bye, elephant. But yeah, that's the major difference between the African and the Asian elephant is like the ear size. Like so, if you want to look at them, you can. Um, I got the camera back on me because like when I'm walking and not looking at animals, I don't want to disrupt other people and don't like want to make them be on camera if they don't want to be. Um, Americans are kind of weird about that. <laughs> so uh, this is the family farm. So this area has like playgrounds for kids to play. Um, no, it's not. It's been here forever. That part last time I was here was not here. They might have expanded it, but it was here. Yeah, it, is, it looks like there's a whole nother higher level. Like that was there though. So we'll try to go to where they, this is also like a picnic-y area. So if people brought their lunches and stuff, they can eat here. And obviously we have lots of garbage cans, recycling area, because we don't like to see garbage on the ground, especially near our animals. We want to keep it clean and neat, and tidy and safe for us, there are kids, and for the animals, let's just show you the play area, just so you can see. This is a play area for kids to kind of run around. This is for like smaller kids, and this is for the bigger ones. So, I'll turn it back to me. Um, go see the. I see a cow. There's a goat yard. I know, like, like there's not enough goats in Pakistan. <laughs> like, we like them because we can pet them and stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. And a special thank you to my son, who's carrying my purse so I can like easily carry the phone only to be live with you guys today. So and okay, so here is my son. Hi, son. And then there's a cow that's eating, it's a Scottish Highland beef cattle eating the hay. Isn't he cute? It like, looks like a shaggy dog, but it's a cow. Now let's go over to like the goat yard. I guess we can buy like feed and can go feed them if we want to. Are there some like little goats? Blah, blah, black sheep. And there's white. Actually, these are goats. They're not sheep. So, if you want to go in, we can. But I don't really feel like a need to go in to feed them. We can just see them from afar. My son's name is Jake. So, and I, I don't even think like Pakistani people are like that crazy about seeing goats because like you guys have access to goats all the time. So. They also have a hand washing station for after people have fed the goats. So, and then let's see. There, that building right over there, that's like a big learning building. So, like, um, as a zoo member, like, I get discounts. Like, if I want to sign my kids up for like different classes, like, do they do to teach about the different animals, to talk about like different issues that they're facing and stuff. So um, they're open to everyone in the community, but for me, I like the fact that they can, um, they do do like education for children, but those classes do cost money. There's a donkey. I know you guys don't like donkeys. You guys like make fun of donkeys, but that's Giuseppe. He was born June 30th, 1997. So, and there's Chelsea. Gypsy is, it looks like a horse, but I don't know where Gypsy is right now. Gypsy's not out in the yard. So sorry, Fareed, you're not gonna get to see a horse. <laughs> so we're gonna go into this building. I think in this building, we can get to the area where they milk cows. So I don't like, I live in Wisconsin, which is like one of the number one. Let's just go in this one, it's okay, it's fine. Um, is, is, is probably one of the largest dairy states in the country. So, like, um, used to be like a dairy 
capital of the world. Like they have like an ice cream parlor in here because obviously milk comes from cows and I think that's why they kind of put that here. So we're gonna go into this area. Like here's the milking equipment and like this is like where they would like take the milk and like pasteurize it. There's a video we can watch, but I don't think that I really want to watch. But let me just show you over here. They have cows that would come in. The next milking demonstration is not till three, and I'm not going to stay here until three. So the cow would go into this metally area, and then you'll see like these little things right here. Those suction on to um, the udders of the animals. Here, there's a picture of it. And it automatically milks them. The milk will go in there. Holding tank, and then you can observe any abnormalities um, before it goes to the cooling tank. The computer reports how much milk is being taken during each se session. Because I want to make sure that the cows stay nice and healthy. So let's go see some cows. Oh, this is a little baby cow. Let me show you guys the baby cow. Calf is what that would be called, a calf. Isn't it cute, little cow? Little moo cow. Aww. I want to pet him. And I'm... Let's see. She Don't looks like Amy, Amy, Amy Lynn Carrier, isn't it? Who? The, the lady in there? No, that was just the lady that works at the zoo. Um, I'm not, I think Amy Co uh, Carrier's from the East Coast, I think. Um, she's a friend of mine, though. Um, like, we haven't quite collaborated on anything together yet, but we will. Like, um, uh, I think that we're going to maybe try to do, like, a, a around-the-world birthday party for Takwa Ahmed. And it happens to be Lynn Chittick's birthday also, so, and that's also when the Global Torch will be. Uh, so in Pakistan, I'm really sad that I won't get to be there because when I don't want to be in Pakistan in July, that would suck. I mean, I would love to see the people there, but like really it's miserable in Pakistan in July. So here's some chickens. I'll show you chickens. Little hen house. Little chickens. 
Aren't they pretty? And then inside there you can see them. So cute. Walking around. So, this is the family farm. Um, let's see what else. They have kind of like an older little display here. A little wagon and things that they would store milk in. So that's pretty much our zoo. I don't know what else I missed. We saw the big cats. Um, I didn't go for like the train ride or anything, but um, I, I want to kind of save that until I'm with my daughter because she really likes the train ride. And so they do have like a carousel here. They have a couple of restaurants here. Um, oh, we didn't go to the bird building. I don't know how much battery I have. Do you guys want to see birds? Do you want to see the bird building? Also in the summertime, we have like a sea lion area. If you guys want to see the birds, the aviary, let me know and we'll walk over there really quick. Hopefully I don't run out of battery. But tell me, if you want to see that, I need some comments or I need like likes or hearts or something so I know that you guys want to see the aviary where the, the birds are. Okay, so you want to see the birds, okay. So we'll walk quickly over there. So I rarely go to the bird one and I don't know why. It is quite beautiful. Where is so it? it's like over, we never go to it because we always go through the, the uh, uh, monkey building and it's kind of like out of the way then. So let's walk quickly, Jake, because I don't want to... Oh, I'm not too much tired. No, like, I need this exercise. This is good for me. It's like, I need to get in more and more shape so I can do this. Like, um, I don't know, like, maybe sometime I'll go, like, in the northern areas, and then the oxygen's much less there, and there's lots of mountains. So I need to prepare myself for that. And I'm sure, like, when we go to Japan... There'll be lots of places that we'll be walking to, <laughs> you know. And, and where I live, there's, like, really no, like, everything's far, so you take your car everywhere, so you don't get that much exercise. So I need to get more in shape, and so this is good for me. Can you talk with any animal keeper from the zoo? Um, well, I just talked to one in the cow building, Maybe in the bird area we can talk to a zookeeper. We'll see. That that would be kind of neat. I didn't think to do that. Like there's people like in every building. So we're almost to the bird aviary. I know that I'm like less than 20% though on my charge. So. So let's see. I am not too much tired at all. I'm having a hijab issue, but it's okay. Like it doesn't want to like stay on. It's like pulling off my head and choking me. So let's see. I'm gonna turn the camera since there's not too many people over here. Um, on busy days like weekends and stuff. I have like popcorn, cotton candy available for sale. And like this is the outside of the, the monkey building. And then there's the animal health center, which is like the, the pet doctor. No, I don't need to take rest. And yes, I'm breathing fast, but like this is good for me. It's healthy. I'm exercising, I need this. Don't tell me not to do it. Okay, I'm almost to the aviary. And then after the aviary, I think we're done. So, Jake, can you hold this for a second? I'm having like, I have to fix this. I'm gonna do it different so that I can tuck it in and maybe it'll like stay on me. Yeah, hopefully. Here we go. All right. Okay, so another like outdoor area. 
in, in the summertime we have like a sea lion show. Uh, not sea lion, what is it, walrus? I don't know. It's a big animal that's from the ocean. <laughs> is it sea lion or is it like a walrus show? Or? I, think it's a I think it's a sea lion show too. So we're going in the aviary. It's a quiet zone, so I'm gonna be talking quietly, okay? But it'll probably be noisy. Wa alaikum salam. So yeah, after this, and my phone may die while I'm in here. So, oh, you can see my dress. Can you see my dress in there? <laughs> so quiet, quiet. There's more penguins. Alright, here we go. So here's the inside of the aviary, the main aviary. You see birds like that are just flying around. They can put in the orange ones up there. See. Sorry, my internet goes in and out. There's all different kinds of birds. Milwaukee County Zoo in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, USA. This is the aviary. There's a bird up there. There's one back over there. Like, there's all different kinds of birds. I don't know the names of them though. Like I can look at them. There's like a Tabata golden weaver, a green heron, a boat billed heron, an Inca tern, a, oh the scarlet tip ibis. Those, that was those birds that we saw up there somewhere. 